Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Spark Digital Microphone. Now this microphone is made by Blue. It's very similar to Blue Microphone's uh, more high-end cardioid mic. It's known as a Spark Cardioid Solid State Condenser Mic. This one pretty much has the same internals, the difference being it's digital. So you don't need the icicle or all the extra cables and everything to get it going. All you need is a USB port. Something else that's pretty cool about it is that it will also work with your Apple devices, such as your iPhone, your iPad, and your iPod. So if you want to get high quality recording on your mobile devices also, then that can be achieved with this particular microphone. But I'm not going to go into a in-depth review of the microphone. The purpose of this video is to unbox it. So let me go ahead and get started with that. So the packaging here is just this purple box. You have the blue microphone on the front, on the side as well, and the guy playing the guitar on the back and some information about the microphone. But let's go ahead and jump inside of the box. Enough of looking at the box. <laughs> so inside we have the Spark Digital manual here. It just gives you some information about the microphone and how it can be used and everything like that. Um, it also tells you about the cords and um, the microphone itself. So that's the information pamphlet here. So pulling the microphone out, let's see what else. Hmm, looks like we have a few things in here. So inside we have a carrying bag, which I think just emphasizes the portability of the Spark Digital. Um, the bag does feel very high quality and durable so that it can withstand dirt and um, things like that. It feels like it would protect the mic, especially with the inside having this kind of soft interior and everything. So you don't scratch up your microphone and it helps protect it. It's better than just carrying it without a case. And inside of the case, you have some cables. So it looks like we have the USB cable for the Spark Digital. This particular one will allow you to plug it in as well as it has a headphone port. So you can plug in your headphones into this particular cable and listen to the audio that you're recording. The other cable here is the connector cable. So this is how you get it to work with your mobile devices. And if you have a newer Apple device that uses the lightning connector, then you can just get the adapter kit from Apple and um, use it so that it then works with the later generation of Apple devices. And I'll be testing that in the review as well, because I have Apple devices that use a 30 pin as well as a lightning connector. So I'll be going more in depth in the review with that. So inside this cardboard box is where the stand rests. So we have the Spark Digital stand as well as the Spark Digital microphone. So the stand feels very durable. It's not heavy, but it does have some weight to it. So you can tell that it's it's pretty much going to stay where you sit it. So it looks like we have an integrated shock mount into the stand as well. And I'm going to be testing very in depth how this shock mount stands against different sounds. Because I know when I personally watch reviews of microphones, I'm like, they're not making the sounds that I make when I record audio. So um, I'll be definitely trying to make some common sounds that you may hear when you're recording, such as bumping the desk or things like that. Um, so definitely stay tuned for the review because I'll be giving the shock mount a thorough test. And in addition to the shock mount, like I mentioned before, we have the microphone, which is packaged here. Definitely high quality. And it is absolutely beautiful. I love this metal finish. And it seems too down here at the bottom, we have our mute switch. And I believe this button here is a multi-purpose button where it will control the volume of your headphones as well as control the volume of the gain. And then back here, we have our focus switch. The focus switch enhances the audio that's being recorded. But that's really it that we have in the package. So like I said, stay tuned for in-depth review because I'm going to be definitely testing this microphone as much as possible. I also have the Blue Yeti, so I'm going to be putting them up against each other so you can get a better idea of how the microphone contrasts from one mic to the other um, in reference to the Blue Line. But if you have something in particular you want me to test about this microphone, drop that down below. And if you enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe so you can stay updated. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.